Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. I just glided down. I'm Funke Joseph, and I'm joined by Natalie Flores, a featured contributor at fanbite.com. <gasps> Fellow featured contributor Funke, hello. Hi, hey. Um, and today, we are talking about a very special demo that we played at the Steam Next Fest uh, called Sable. Um, Natalie, do you want to talk a little bit about what this cool desert biking game is all about? Yeah, so I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, and I think that goes for a lot of people. It's definitely one of the most played demos uh, that's part of the Steam Next Fest. Um, so in Sable, you play as a titular character named Sable, uh, who, at least in the demo, she is starting to prepare to embark on this rite of passage. Um, she's part of a nomad clan and essentially uh, she has to go through what is called the gliding, um, which is essentially a coming of age sort of ritual that her people go through. Um, and the demo, it, it mostly has you preparing for the gliding in terms of getting prep like preparations for your bike mm -hmm. or like doing you know you get like actual like side quests handed to you in like maybe a more mechanical way that people expected um back when we didn't know much about the game uh, yeah but yeah. yeah i actually wanted to talk a bit about that it from all the clips we saw like the teasers we saw very early on um it looked like there was no dialogue in this game and it was kind of just like a cruising along the sand type of game how how does the dialogue and rpg like choices feel to you i enjoy them i think for just to i guess like the first thing that i noticed the text is very big like it takes up a lot of the screen i think the the ui is interesting and i think it'll be hopefully really accessible for a lot of people mm -hmm. um i like how the narrative switches from the internal thoughts of Sable and like a first person sort of stream of consciousness and then you got the dialogue of like different people it's it's not like you're like you're really inhabiting the role of Sable um yeah. and I think I think it manages to create a specific character I think her edges are ones that you can define whether for example she's more of an excited person or more of a nervous person when it comes to this you know huge uh life event that's about to happen to her um and i think the narrative supports both of those versions as well as other like subtleties in her character but generally you get the idea that sable is a a curious girl she is uh determined to find out what the gliding will do to her as a person how she will grow from it she is clearly really connected with the members of her community um mm -hmm. it's a small community of course so that's not difficult but um she largely sees the best in her community members and is reluctant to leave even if she is excited or nervous so i think you get a clear idea from the dialogue and like all the text in the game that sable is even though you can sort of you know affect her personality a little she is a set character and we're gonna see it, that will make it more rewarding to see how this gliding ritual affects her in the full game because like it'll be it, it would be difficult to see and evaluate that if like you have a blank slate character like where mm -hmm. what is this character growing from and where are they growing into so um i think they've done a great job of establishing her character yeah definitely i think especially you see that text um and and the way that it's it's just written where it kind of is internal dialogue i feel like you don't see that too much in in games like it, it's something right. you see in books a lot like characters thinking and thinking out loud but it, it's really cool that they put that in here and you really get to see kind of what she honestly thinks about these characters especially Driss um yeah uh this guy we're talking to here uh who's kind of just like all over the place and kind of scatterbrained and <laughs> she's just like okay well this guy's supposed to give me a bike but <laughs> I think he forgot that he gave me or he promised to give me a bike um, and that's just very fun. I feel like that makes it feel so much more like 
warm and uh, like yes. like intimate. Like it really connects you to these. There's only three characters in this village, but like I feel like I already know them from those short interactions. Um, right, it, right. It feels very cool. Yeah, and I mean, they there's so much insight given into Sable's inner thoughts, but there's also a lot of subtlety in the dialogue, I would say. Like, for example, um, the other person that you talk to besides Driss, I think their name is... Uh, something with an H. Hello? I, I forgot. Yes, yes. Um, for example, they are only referred to using they, them pronouns, and so, like, from that character, we have sort of an establishment that like different gender identities and like are embraced and the like are embraced among like Sable's culture. It's not necessarily like a conservative culture that she's trying to escape from. It's more like she is moving towards something else rather than escaping from her community, um, mm -hmm. which I think makes that a lot more compelling. Um, there's also uh, this as part of getting the materials that you need for your bike um there's a child who tries to hide a compartment part from our compartment part from sable mm -hmm. and there's sort of it's not explicitly spelled out but there is a hint that there was another person before sable who went on their gliding who you know has not come back or made communications and um, just like it, it was a nice twist to see that the child wasn't just like hiding that part from Sable because the game wanted you to spend more to time in it. its demo. Yeah. yeah, or like a fetch quest or like, oh hey, like fun little game of hide and seek. But it's because like the child actually doesn't want Sable to leave. And it's a nice contrast to everyone else being so supportive of Sable leaving. You know, there's undoubtedly people in her community who will miss her and she'll surely experience that on her gliding too, a mix of, wow, I'm doing all these things and I'm, you know, being an adult TM, but also <laughs> I miss my community. <laughs> and I think that's a thing we can all relate to. Absolutely. Yeah, even in the initial conversation, like with the elder in the community, like that was, I was early already like i don't want to go like these people seem very nice <laughs> yeah. um yeah N natalie there's a lot of stuff to enjoy about this game like the aesthetic it draws comparisons to journey it, it's cell shaded and like very lo-fi and, and just very nice to look at especially when you're riding around on the bike uh the soundtrack is amazing as well very mm -hmm. helps build the tone of this really relaxed experience um yeah. but i wanted to know what about it stood out to you um, for me, it was the art style. Like you said, it is so unique, and I think that is the case for a lot of people. Um, Greg, uh, who I believe is the director on the game, and his last name escapes me, so I'm sorry. Um, but I follow him on Twitter, and it's, it's always been really funny to me that sometimes he just, he logs on, he puts a gif, or a gif, if that's your preference of sable and sometimes he doesn't even put a caption mm -hmm. and he'll get like thousands of retweets and <laughs> likes because and it's so funny to me because like it's and it's so deserved right like this game is an absolute stunner and that is that is usually the case for games made by small teams indie games um in order to stand out especially in a landscape dominated by AAA games with huge budgets. What they have to largely focus on sometimes is a distinct art style. You have games like this, um, games like uh, Dordoin, uh, which is like a watercolor painting mm -hmm. like style game. I think you might have seen it. It was shown in the Wholesome Direct, I believe, and it's been shown numerous times and it's supposed to be released uh, later this year. Like these are games that have to capture people and go the extra mile with their art in order to have a shot at standing out and that is just an unfortunate reality for smaller teams um but i think as far as standing out like like sable is just an absolute marvel of a gorgeous game i took so many screenshots throughout this demo <laughs> yep. so many and like just the footage that you'll see as we're talking right now every frame is 
a work of art it's so beautiful and it's undoubtedly what attracted many people to it but i think the demo has enough about uh, like everything else to it that i think it's con you know like i walked away from this thinking oh yeah i, I really want to yeah buy the full thing or it's, i want to play the full thing it's not just the aesthetic yeah it really sticks the landing i think with all of the elements i was like this is a really cool experience and yeah. i don't know this is just a demo that i'm playing like i i i'm very excited for the full game um, right i also what did you think of the climbing by the, the way yeah i honestly just the traversal was thrown immediately back to like breath of the wild because the same like yes. circle stamina system was very yeah. nice also it stresses me out because i've tried to climb mountains in that game and fallen right off <laughs> so i mean luckily like i have the gliding as you can see here and can glide away um but yeah i i i love the mostly just the bike just like running around and then hopping on the bike it is such a calming experience to just drive and you'll see here like when we go back onto the bike like it's a completely different kind of dusk sunset out and yes. that reflects on like every character model and the environment as well it creates a completely different tone that i don't know it's just so nice to cruise in and it, yeah it, it it's amazing that this game it, this is just a demo but to create such a solid distinct vibe in that like 45 minutes i feel like uh is remarkable Natalie, it is. Mm -hmm. Natalie, what could the full game do to pull you in completely? I know you already seem like you're going to play, but like, mm -hmm. what would make this a really good game for you? Um, honestly, for me, all that's left is finding out more about the narrative. I want to see how this coming-of-age story unfolds for Sable. Um, everything else has me pretty hooked. Uh, I... I enjoyed the traversal. It was a little easier for me to manage than in Breath of the Wild because, like, Sable just got a lot of stamina, I guess. Like, yeah. girl has worked out. She's been training. <laughs> She's been training. She on it. So, like, not having to worry about the meter going down super fast is really nice for me. Um, just the, the navigation in general, the art, like you said, the tone, the music. I mean, what we heard in the demo, the background music that we heard was very zen-like and very relaxing. But the main theme song is sung by Japanese Breakfast and it is gorgeous. Uh, we saw it during E3 and I can't wait to just hear it in the game. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've been really excited for Sable. I included it in my list that I wrote earlier this year of my most anticipated uh, indie games of 2021. So it's already been on my radar, but the demo just solidified like, oh, like it doesn't seem like I have much to worry about. It feels like exactly what I thought it would, um, which is not always, you know, the easiest thing. Like sometimes a game will look one way and then when you try it out it turns out completely different but i think their approach of uh not saying too much about sable they've been very quiet about sable and then just you know coming back with this really impressive sort of 45 minute demo i think was a good move for them and i'm excited to see the full thing yeah absolutely um, well, thank you so much for talking to me about Sable. Um, there's... No, thank you so much. <laughs> wait, 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 I want to I want to hear from you. What what will the full game do for you or what does it have to do for you to really pull you in? For me, I think I want there to be a good balance between um, having like a, a lot of quests, but also having free time to just really explore the land and to just like go on misadventures on the bike would be <laughs> fantastic. Especially right. like we in the demo, we play on a pretty, pardon my French, but shitty speeder. Um, it would be <laughs> exciting to like actually use the one you see later on. Um, and yeah, just like explore the lands because they could do a lot with this landscape. Like we're seeing this general like sandy uh, canyon area, but mm -hmm. like I'm imagining other like even like an ice zone or something with the same art oh style gosh, would yeah. hit so hard i think so like, hard yeah i don't know oh just, I, I think they could do a lot and i'm really excited for where they take this um because yeah Absolutely. this is a very good solid groundwork for what could be an amazing game so yeah 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 i'm hyped to see it natalie you're working on a piece actually rounding up some highlights from steam next fest and i guess e3 demos in general um mm -hmm. 
when do you think that will go live? Um, depending on when this goes live, I'm not sure. But yeah. um, we are recording on June 21, so I should be publishing that this weekend. Um, I'm still torn on whether I should include Sable because we've already written a dedicated preview. Um, managing editor Steven Strom wrote a fantastic piece on it that you can read over at fanbyte.com. Um, so I... I wonder if I should include it since we've already been eager to talk about Sable since deservedly so it's really good um but yeah that full list should be coming out in this next week so yeah that's yeah. exciting I I saw you playing a bunch of those demos so I'm so many really there are to... so many y'all <laughs> right <laughs> I'd have to see the other standouts like Sable from uh this like I guess tidal wave of just really cool indie demos Yes, um, absolutely. Sable is definitely one of the best, but there are plenty that I've enjoyed just as much, and I'm excited to just like let people know, like, hey, these games look really cool, and I can't believe developers are making this cool shit in right? the middle of a pandemic. You know, it's it's worth commending every time that we talk about this. So. Mm hmm. Yeah, Natalie, where can people find you online? You can find me at Twitter. Uh, that's at Hardimicia, heart I-M-E-C-I-A. Funke, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at FunkeFly, and you can check out our stuff on fanbyte.com. Um, Sable drops on September 23rd, and until then, I will be replaying this demo for a while <laughs> yes. uh, and checking some stuff out. Uh, thank you for watching, gamers. If you like the video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, tell a friend. Uh, First Bites are going on for a while, and we want to do some more fun stuff with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Later, gamers. Later. That was me driving. <laughs> <laughs>